confirmation of his August 8th victory. During his victory speech at the Bombers of Kenya, Kenyatta said that he would only dialogue with his opponents only after they exhaust constitutional means of challenging his victory if they so wish. Jackie Maribe has more on that story. For the second time in two months, President Huru Kenyatta and his DP William Ruto were at the Bomas of Kenya. <laughs> to receive their certificate having been declared victors by IEBC Chair Wafula Chabukati. Once again, as you all know, I have been here before. <laughs> Hopefully this is for the last time. <laughs> this, the president opines, is serving as a revalidation of his victory on August 8th. All those who turned up, despite violent intimidation and witchcraft, <laughs> mm. for those who voted for me and Jubilee, by way of revalidating our August 8th victory, today I thank you. The game of numbers, he says, is serving in his favor despite the Supreme Court nullification. When my victory was put to test at the Supreme Court, this was the verdict. The court did not challenge my overwhelming mandate of 54%. The numbers were never questioned. Kenyatta explaining his delay in putting pen to paper on the amendments passed to effect electoral law changes. But when the bill was brought to me for signature as president, I was also compelled by my own conscience to go back to the origins of law. If an act of parliament is a direct expression of the will of the people, are the people happy with the law? Some, including some in this room, argued that I was changing the rules of engagement halfway through the game. Others argued that to change the electoral law ahead of the 26th election was to privilege myself over the other competitors. And because the law must be founded on reasoned national consensus, I listened to these voices and I did not sign that new bill into law. With many now looking to the president on the way forward to foster unity and cohesion, the dialogue question warranting a response. Those who will want to ask me, are you going to engage in dialogue with so and so and so and so, let them first and foremost exhaust their constitutionally laid out processes. Let them go to court, let them do whatever they want. Nobody shall deny them of their constitutional right. Those issues we shall discuss later. As to my agenda going forward, I will discuss. Once the processes are over, I am not going to jump the gun. In the president's opinion, that NASA leader Raila Odinga went to court to challenge the presidential poll results and then withdrew from the race after he won in court was an affront on the supreme will of the people. You cannot choose the opportunity to exercise a right and therefore and thereafter abscond from the consequences of that choice. And finally, a passionate appeal for peace. Your neighbor will remain your neighbor despite the political outcomes. Your neighbor will be your brother, your neighbor will be your sister. Let each and every one of us be our brother's keeper, our sister's keeper. Let us maintain peace. Jackie Marie Bay, Monday special. 
IBC chairman Wafila Chebukati says the commission is 